What is up everybody? Things the Mount here. So for probably the last six months or since I've gotten this extrusion overland rack, I have wanted to do some sort of toolbox to mount right here on the side of my rack. So I'm gonna try to attempt that today, try to create something. I'm not going off of any plans or anything like that. I'm just trying to figure out what works and see if I can make something. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm starting with and maybe Hopefully we can turn this into something good that works. It's an Apache 9800 from Harbor Freight. I'm gonna try to turn this into a truck mounted toolbox. So I'm thinking probably just <clears throat> figure out where the slots go in the T-nuts for the extrusion mounting points and then hopefully it'll work great a couple fender washers bolts but let's see what see what we can do let's see here this thing is pretty cool it's very very similar to a pelican it's got a weatherproof seal rubber right in here and it's got this pick apart foam so you can shadow everything. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's got this nice pick apart foam with a dense eggshell texture top. And let's see if we can pull this out. You can look on the underside. There are spots where it's like it's made to be mounted. So it's just figuring out how it's going to mount up to so this extrusion overland rack is going to be maybe the difficult part or it might not be difficult at all. So I'm going to see how I can get some good measurements off this thing and figure out where I can drill some holes and potentially mount this thing on the truck. Well, it would be great if I could line up this pre-made groove on this Apache case to that slot, but I don't think it's gonna line up the way we want it to. Believe it or not, this thing is perfect on the inside grooves. Let me show you guys this. So going for the inboard, I got 43 and a half. So it looks like in total, this Apache case measures about 50 and a half inches. So there you can see kind of the outline of that groove there, that slot. And I've got my tape just roughly close to the center. And it measures exactly 43 and a half to the center of the other one. Which is awesome. That means this is going to be way easier than I thought it was going to be. And I'm pretty pumped. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark these holes, start drilling. So I guess now I've got the holes drilled. I just need to figure out the correct bolt length to go in this thing. So it looks like this material is about an eighth to a quarter inch thick. Let's do a quick measurement here. Yeah, looking at the actual hole, it's about eighth to maybe three sixteenths thick. So. The T-nut, the drop T-nuts I'm going to use have about a quarter thread depth. So I want to put some pan washers on this thing to make sure I really get a good grip on holding this to the bed rack. So maybe three quarters size. Um, but 
Math is hard. I'll do some math off camera and figure it out. <laughs> so these are the bolts that I have now. Um, these are, I believe, half inch. Yeah, they're half inch. And I'll show you what the thread protrusion is on the bottom, but it's not enough. So there you can see I've got the bolt in there. And unfortunately, I do not have a lot of thread protrusion sticking out of the back. So I'm gonna have to lengthen that. So I make sure that this toolbox doesn't fly off the truck going down that interstate. So we'll have to go around to the hardware store, see what they got. All right, so I just got back from the hardware store and there has been a monsoon since I left, but I'm back. Got some stuff, and I'm going to try to mount this thing up on the rack. Let's see how it goes. So I ended up getting a few different things. I've got these bolts. They're about one inch. I also got three quarters just in case they're too long. That was really the only two differences I could do there. I also went ahead and got some fender washers with some of these rubber uh, gasket washers so that way it doesn't let any of that water in from those holes that we drilled so these little drop-in nuts are neat uh, it's got a little ball bearing on the back that springs in and out but you just take it into the extrusion grooves and slide it to where you need it to go so you start the corner pop it in rotate it around that's it. You just push it to, to the height. Looks like one of my bolt holes just a little bit off thankfully i've got these really big fender washers and o-rings so i'm just gonna move that slot just a hair over but one out of four 75 percent not bad i guess <laughs> like it really doesn't stick out much I'd say probably about four inches or so so not a very large profile this is it from the rear so you got your larger kind of handheld tools on the left side you still have room up here on the top of the rack I made sure to put it lower then this edge, so that way if you have stuff to put over the top, it's not gonna interfere with that. And you can still open it if you need to and pull it open. So it's pretty good. Now, I'm gonna see if I can finish the inside. All right, I'm pretty stoked at the way that looks. It came out really well. I Honestly, wasn't expecting it to to work as easily as it was, but Harbor Freight for the win, I guess. So now I'm going to go to phase two. So I want to take this bottom portion here and when it opens to kind of create like a work top, like a, like a bench top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to attach Maybe some hooks, some eye hooks here and there with some chain and see if I can 
allow this thing to kind of sit flush so you can grab your tools and maybe work on something right there or if you're camping have like an extra little like a little bar top so i'm gonna try that so all i did right here is i started a pilot hole just slightly smaller than the shank of this so that way only the threads are is what's engaging in the hole so i did the same thing down here and i'm going to screw this one in next <laughs> This one's got to be a little different because it doesn't have the wheel well, so it doesn't have the extra material to drill into. Got some chain, a couple of S hooks. So it's the next day. I've had some time to fill out the foam and do some other things, and it's time to show you guys the finished product. So I'm pretty pumped about how this turned out. So I really like the fact that I have this little chain here that allows me to, you know, whether I'm pulling out a socket set, you know, I can sit it here while I open up and pull out exactly what I need. Um, makes it easy. Obviously, you're not going to put a ton of weight on this thing, but it's really, really simple and convenient just to pull out what you need. Put it right here for a minute, whether you're changing a battery in the drill or, you know, you're taking out a tool or ratchet straps, grabbing the carabiners with these bungee cords, tape measure, anything, you know, first aid kit light flashlight leatherman i've got some more stuff coming but i wanted to go ahead and shoot this either way it turned out really great it's awesome if you're a handyman if you're someone who goes out and does overlanding i really think something like this would work great for you especially if you have a rack to mount it to so thanks for watching phoenix of the mountain guys subscribe for more videos see you later